What's up guys, Cordora here, out on a beautiful spring day, Doug. And we were door knocking, Doug got this incredible spot. This house goes back to about 1860. There are outbuildings everywhere. There's old carriage houses over there. It should be a really good day. We've got tons of property. Me, of course, Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fond Doug. Our favorite antique collector, Lynn, Rich Van Winkle, and our buddy Dustin, Rusty Digger, came all the way down to join us. I can't wait to see what we find. Back in the first day, see you guys soon. Later. Rich has something cool. It is so noisy here, Lynn. There's an intersection. There's like jackhammers and trucks backing up. And I haven't touched it yet, but it's inside here. And I opened it up. Ooh, is that a modern quarter? No, that's oh, a button. It's got <gasps> oh, wow, Rich, that USX. is awesome. USX. What would the X be? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, that is a nice button, and it's on a little chain so they didn't lose it. And it says stuff on there. Oh my goodness, Rich. Can you see that, Doug? Yeah. USX, it's a button, and look, going through the button thing, they put like a little keychain so it wouldn't get lost. And look how well that worked out for him. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anything. Like I'm going to Google it and see what the heck is USX is. Is, is that yeah. um, a railroad? That's it could be. Yeah. It could be. It does look like railroad button kind yeah, of a thing. It does. But I couldn't think of and, what railroad. And that's uh, late 18, early 19. Oh, yeah. Rich is going to brush it. We're going to Google it and get a good look bigger. at it. That's beautiful, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, there's Rich's button. It's amazing. We looked it up. USX was for United States Express, which was a delivery company going back to about the 1860s, kind of like a FedEx or a UPS is today. And the back, there's all sorts of writing on it. Rich is going to have to do a good job cleaning it up. We can't quite make out what some of that writing says. But man, that is cool. It says they did a lot of their deliveries by rail back then too, obviously. So that's really cool. Yeah, I've I never like seen that, anything right. like it, and I know you love buttons just like I oh, do. Yeah. Good job. So that is an amazing find, man. Well done. Congratulations. I love it. <laughs> Doug, look at that. 54 on my machine, Doug. Well, you know what though? You see, there's like a, I'm getting some of the ferro check on the left side, so I'm wondering. Yeah, well, there are a bunch of nails in there, so. Well, it's not gonna be a nail, but it could be maybe aluminum with that ferro number coming in like it does. What are you getting? A dime signal. Yeah, I'm gonna dig it regardless, but I'm curious what that ferro check, why it would give me that. Could be a nail in the hole with it. That might, that might be a quarter. Yeah, it could be. Could be a quarter with a nail, something to make that ferro go off on the left came out but when I gave it a little rub can you see all the writing on it wow is so, that the ten commandments for a mouse maybe <laughs> I shall not steal cheese <laughs> but it's very small it probably some sort of an old printer's block like we were saying yeah, yeah. can you yeah. read things backwards Doug I know your brain works weird uh, but no it's some sort of an old printer's plate which are really cool we've got some before they're usually on the end you know what I mean and they'll stamp it down but that one it was like a big block they might have put down and yeah. almost made like a lithograph on the paper. Right, I'll take that one. into the uh, men's room with me. All right, yeah, yeah, Just unfold it and <laughs> yeah, give it a good read. Some right? good read. We'll see if we can make it out later, but if not, I'll put it in a mirror and uh, we'll see what it says. All right. All right, Lynn, well, a cool printer's plate for me at least, but you know yeah. what this house needs out front? A banana tree, Lynn. Oh, uh, for sure, it's <laughs> so, right yeah, here. Gotta have a banana tree in the front of this beautiful set. So, banana in the hole, I'm hoping we're gonna find, oh, wow, something gonna fit, Lynn. I have oh. to put a little piece of the banana. Dig a bigger you, hole. Want to share some of the banana? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. We'll dig a bigger hole. We'll get the banana in the ground because I want to find some good stuff today. But man, it's going to be a good one. I can feel it. Amazing property. A bunch okay. of good guys here. Can't wait to see what we find. That's good. All right, Dustin's got something. He's over in the shade too, which makes it extra nice. <laughs> oh, I see something. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's a bell. Yeah. Oh, that's a Conestoga it looks bell. Looks like a little Conestoga. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's Tom Mac. Yeah. Wow. Is that complete? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my market. goodness. Look at that. That's, Very nice. That's beautiful. That is great. I wonder if the clapper is still in there. 
Let's clean this up and clean it out. It looks like it's Tombak. Look at it that is. sheen. It's like perfect. Was that screaming on your machine? That was trash, honestly. <laughs> wow, that's one of the coolest things I've seen. I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> Let's clean it out and get a really good look at it. That's a beautiful piece. I love the size of it. All right, there's Dustin's bell, and that that is beautiful, Dustin. It's Tombak material, so you know it's probably 1700s. You can see the top part that was applied is a little wonky. The fact that it's not chipped or broken and survived in the ground all this time is just crazy. It me it out, yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. a million things could have happened. <laughs> no clapper inside. The, the, like you said, the mud is very clay here. You're gonna have to really get some water in there later to clean it out. But that might have been iron, regardless, you know. So it could have rotted away. But that, I mean, that's a prize for anybody that does this. How even Lynn is likes that one. Oh, but, I love it. Yeah, I mean, this is <laughs> right up it. her alley. <laughs> That's, that, again, is one of the best pieces I've seen all day. <laughs> That's amazing. And we're right near what was the blacksmith shop back then. This building right it's here. Actually, it's back there. Yeah, I'm sorry, behind me. Yeah. Was the blacksmith shop back in the early 1800s. Went back and forth between the big farmhouse and the shop. Um, that's just an incredible piece, man. I love it. I'm super jealous over that one. Well done. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate yep. it. Oh, he's got a good one here, Doug. Rich, what number was this come up on your machine? Forget. Look at this, sounded, I see it in the hole. Really good. That is a beautiful two piece two button. Piece. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be see. something nice. That's going to have an image and a design on it. Oh, if it's another USX, nice. I'm going to have a heart attack. He's going to make us wait and do the back. I know. Yeah. The reveal. Here's the reveal. It's a log cabin. A log cabin? Uh oh, Rich is having an epiphany. Rich is having an epiphany. What, what president? <laughs> Could you think somebody, a little quicker? Somebody who ran for president a long time ago. Abe Lincoln. Abe that, Lincoln. No, came from a people cab. were. George Bush Sr. People. Hey, let me yes, see. Yes, I've, I've uh, seen that. Call him up. <laughs> um, wow, look at that, Doug. Can wow. you see it? It's a beautiful log cabin image. So you're saying you think it was some an old president? It was born in a yeah, log yeah. cabin. It was somebody who... You know what's really cool about it too is on the back, I can see the manufacturer is Ives, I-V-E-S. We found a few buttons made by Ives before, Doug. Yes. That's a very old button manufacturer. Yeah, that's uh, mid-1800s. Oh yeah, this is going to be probably yeah. pre-Civil War, I think. Love the We're going to Google it and clean it up. That's a beautiful that's button. Beautiful. One of the best things I've seen all day. We'll see if we can find more information on it, but that's a great piece just as it sits. Good job, Rich. Thank you. Nice. All right, we Googled Rich's button. We found some information. Rich is going to read it off, but it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing history to it. Go ahead, Rich. This is an 1840 William Henry Harrison campaign button. Wow. He Probably has some good value. What president was he? The ninth. The ninth? Yep. Wow. And you said it goes back to what year? About pre-Civil War? 1840. Well, that's amazing, Rich. And like I said, the back mark, I recognize the Ives. We found them before. It's a really old manufacturer. And I've never seen that image before. So well done, man. Thank you. One of the cooler things I've seen all day. No doubt about it. Great job. Dog tag Doug chasing the deep stuff, Rich. He always chases that deep stuff. This hole, I don't even know, Doug. You, you, know, you might have dug to Australia a little bit. I see a kangaroo's Eight tail inches. sticking out. But at the bottom of his hole, way down there, Doug got himself a cool pocket watch. Looks like it anyway. Well, when yeah, you, he look, first look. pulled it up, we both said doorknob, because it looked like a doorknob, but then when you turned yeah, it over. Yeah, we saw this, and then I uh, That's nice, it Doug. It, Ooh. It, it I, I see fancy on the outside of the rim, right. too, Doug. Look right here. Right there. See that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This doesn't look like a pocket No, it does. Well... We're going to brush it down and take... Oh, God, that brush, Lynn. Don't hit it with snaggle too. <laughs> We're going to brush this and take a good look at it, but I think that's going to be nice. All right, there's Doug's piece. We brush it down a little bit. We're, we, we, we don't have an exact agreement. I, I still think pocket watch. It is very heavy, but it's compacted with Way dirt. Heavier than Lynn thinks it might be some other mechanical con type contraption, uh, like some sort of a gauge. Yeah, it could be a stopwatch. Uh, it was uh, April 12th, 
1911. It was oh, a it was a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. it's around 3:30 in the, the afternoon. Before the Titanic. Yeah, <laughs> so it was. Well, Doug, that's an awesome find, Doug. Congratulations, man. 12th, 1912. Coolest relic of the day so far. Uh, oh no, I think uh, Rich is. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to keep you positive. Doug. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, I might have joined Rich on the uh, buttons for the day because this looks a little big for a coin. I put it under this stick, Rich. Oh. Right here. I'm right by the base of this tree. That looks cool either way. Yep, I can see I can see where the shank was on the back, Rich. There's no shank on it. See right in the center? Yep. And I can see some writing. It's a two-piece? Well. Writing and a design, huh? Oh, there's a design. I That's see an, an anchor. anchor. I see an anchor. It's going to be a military one. I see an awesome. eagle's wing over the right. You see the eagle's wing? So is that a front, oh, the front awesome. of a two-piece? or is Well, that a... it, it looks like it may have been smushed a little bit. I think it was a puffy two-piece like yours, but it got smushed. Let me brush it down, but I definitely see an eagle's wing and the anchor, and some stars. And I see some yeah. stars over on the left. That's cool. Let me give it a brush down. Hang on. All right, there's my button. I went over to the shade so I can get a really good look at it. This is an old one. This is War of 1812 era. You can see the eagle with his long outstretched necks to the right. You can see his wing on both sides, surrounded by stars inside of an oval. So just a beautiful 200 year old button. This side, I uh, gave it to Rich. He was able to look it up. It was W. Wishart. W H, I think H. Wishart. H. Wishart, the manufacturer, who must be a really old manufacturer. I never heard of him. So a more obscure one, which is a good sign. No shank, but you can see where the shank was. But that's a great find. I love old buttons. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, hey, it's in a little bit tough shape, but I can see enough of it. Put a big smile on my face. Awesome find. I love it, Lynn. Good job. Man, Lynn, we should have live dug this one. Lynn and I were walking this field, new field, none of us have been in. This signal stopped me in my track, solid 47, both directions. I should have handed Lynn the camera because I dug my plug, I flipped it over, I put the pinpointer in. And there it was. And this silver coin right there is staring me in the face. I don't even know what it is yet. I'm going to guess it's going to be a rosy or a Merc. Yep, it's a rosy. But that's going to be a silver one for sure. I'm just going to give it a rub with my hand. Looks like 1948. 48, okay. You got, oh, you got, got a copper? copper? All right, Dustin's got a copper. So, <laughs> Lynn, can you hold my silver coin? And I'm going to go walk over and take a look you at... You just want me to hold it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm going to bring you luck. Let's go see what he's got. All right, let's see Dustin's copper here. Oh, there it is. Now, listen, like Monty Hall, before you look at it, do you want to trade? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's see. It looks thick. I think maybe, I'm going to say maybe braided hair. What number were you getting on your machine? Oh, it's not very high. Maybe not a braided hair then. It's not going to clean up great with just a... Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, wait a minute, oh wait God. a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Oh my God. It's a, it's, oh my God. is that going to be a chain scent? Wait a minute. That I don't know if it's an, a chain. It might be a Nova Constellatio. That's what I thought it was. I think it might be a Nova Constellatio. Oh. You son of a guy. You rubbed it on your pants. I didn't you know. You rubbed it on your pants. I think it might be a Nova Constellatio. Rich. Oh, my God. Let me clean this up with Dustin. We're going to do it a little more carefully and try to get some more detail on it. But that is an amazing coin, Dustin. Beautiful. I am freaking out. Right All right. Now. Hold on. That's we'll be right I back. Is that a sun? Yeah. All right, here is Dustin's coin, and this is absolutely amazing. We've never found this one before. To give you a quick synopsis of what this coin is, you know, the U.S. Mint was formed in 1792, with the very first coin made there being the 1792 half dime, very famous, and the first two copper coins being the chain cent, and then the 1793 left-facing Liberty Cap half cent, which coincidentally we just found a few weeks ago. Now, before the U.S. Mint, from the time we won the Revolutionary War in 1783 until 1792, that little nine-year period, we still needed money. So going backwards before the Mint, during that Confederation time period, 
1787, we had the Fujio coin come out, designed by Ben Franklin. Before the Fujio, the individual states made copper. You've seen us find many of the New Jersey state coppers, the Connecticut state coppers. There are some rare ones too, the Vermont copper, the Massachusetts, the New York copper. But before the state coppers, don't forget, we won the war in 1783 brand new country, we needed money, we came up with this coin, the first coin ever authorized by the government. We, we were barely a government. We had no banks, we had no way to disperse these coins, we didn't even have all these states you know, ratify the constitution yet, but we agreed on making this coin the Nova Constellatio. This one in my hand is from 1783, the very first year. You can tell because the varieties were different. This one is the pointed star variety. There was also a blunt star variety. The difference is on the other side, there was a script letter on the 1785, but this one is the first one, 1783. The first coin ever, however you wanna word it, authorized by the United States government. What an amazing find, Dustin. Man, I can't believe it. Congratulations, brother. Thank Excellent you. job. Well, awesome silver dime for me, but when you're with a guy who digs a Nova Constellatio, it kind of ruins the silver dime, but I'm super happy for Dustin. He's obviously never found one before. None of us have. An amazing coin from the earliest times of our country. That is just nuts. But you know what? It gives me hope that there's more period stuff around in this section of the yard. So I'm super stoked to go try to find some of it. Let's get this in the bag, get going, find some more. Good one. Oh, super high tone. Ooh. This new area we're doing in the front where Dustin, you know, just had that amazing Nova Constellatio. That's so cool. This was coming up in the, I think it was the high 40s, low 50s. There you go. I flipped the plug over, and this is a small hole. I only used the latch to get it out. It's two inches down. Yep. Three and this thing flopped out, and this is going to be a coin or a button. I think it's going to be a coin because it just looks too darn thick. Hope it's another Nova Constellation. <laughs> Doug will leave if it's another Nova Constellation. Um, I don't see anything on it yet. Up oh. there, you go. Right facing lady. Um, I think it's a bun, don't you? Yeah. Uh, is it a matron? It looks weird. I think it's a matron. It could be. Let me just see. Let me brush it. I'm not sure. It looks a little funky to me. Hang on a second. All right, Lynn, there's my coin. And She's a beaut. It is. It's no Nova Constellatio. But <laughs> it is a cool one in the sense that it's 1822, matron head. But if you can see the serif, that font of the twos, they're so swirly and whirly and all those early words. But uh, I love the 22. It's, it it's is, the prettiest yeah. date there is. It is. And you awesome. can see the head, you can see all the stars. You got something? And uh, uh oh, Doug's, Doug's giving me the silver signal. That's Maybe the silver really. signal. All right, that's my coin. You hold Your that. Coin is I gotta beautiful. go see. You hold it, Lynn. Let me go see. You're kidding. Oh, is that one of those uh, Sunoco tokens? It better not be. Does it feel heavy or light, Doug? It is, Rick. Heavy or light? It's light. I saw that, I thought I had silver. Oh my goodness. Let me see, Dougie. Getting closer to it, though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> same color. It's exactly what it is. It's one of the Sunoco antique car tokens. You're kidding. Would I kid you? It's cool, though. It is cool. Would I kid you? It's a touring car of something dated 1912. Oh. Are you, <laughs> here, you hold this. He needed 12. Lynn, let me see the, let me see the copper again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I needed this one. There's my a 22, Doug, uh, matron. Matron. Put yours next to mine, just to show how big yours is. And that's not silver. as big as yours. Well, I have an incredibly large one. <laughs> <laughs> but when you see that in the hole and it's silver in that size, you, you, you can't blame anybody for getting excited. Yeah. Still a good find. I know it's not what you wanted. Yeah, I got but excited. Yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations to you oh, yeah. and to me. Oh, yeah. But, oh, wait, I don't remember doing oh, this. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to stop the video here at the halfway point. And even though we're still actively here, I know it's going to be at least two parts, Rich. We've found so much stuff, and I don't know how I'm going to show it in the two parts. 
But when I tell you we found some incredible coins, some mind-blowing buttons, and some all-around incredible relics, the place has been super good to us, and the land just goes on and on and on forever. So I'll be back next week, part two, and like I said, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. And of course, if you guys need a detector, a pinpointer, a sand scoop, anything you need, shoot me an email. What's my email, Rich? Quarterhorder at Yahoo. Dot, I don't know. Dot dot com. Dot They're com. all dot com, aren't they? Cornerhorderyahoo.com. Let me know where you live, what your budget is, what kind of terrain you're going to hunt. I'll help pick out the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible things like Rich does every single week. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. See you in the next one. Later.